Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of Bridge here. I thought, I, my, 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 I had an idea, which is like regarding the best hand feature, which I still am not like super in love with, but it does sort of provide more opportunities for you guys to like see, I don't know, um, more of the bidding language and, and more difficult contracts. You know, we end up defending a fair bit when not de choosing best hand, which is fine. There's just a lot to learn on defense too but it's sort of less varied. So I thought maybe what I would do is alternate between like clicking this and not clicking it uh, in, in each episode. So last episode we didn't, this episode we will. We'll see how it goes. All right. Um, I mean, and like it's obviously it's like more real bridge if you don't have the button checked is the thing. As I talked about, it kind of warps things. This is obviously a very good hand. It's 20 points and a relatively balanced shape. So easily a two no trump opener. They would have disagreed with me back in the 60s. Um, I guess for two reasons. I think they wanted to have at least 21, but also um, they didn't. They wouldn't like having such weak spades back then. But the modern style is not to worry so much about stoppers in any particular suits. Um, what? So partners asked if I have a, a four card major, and I've said no. But what is this double? Like showing diamonds? Of course. But what is partner up to? What am I supposed to do? Am I being invited to let this sit? Am I supposed to bid three? No. Nobody ever does this. A, nobody doubles three diamonds. B, nobody passes that double. So I'm sort of in like uncharted water here. Um, I don't know what partner expects of me. And like, my bids are annotated with what they mean, but it doesn't really say anything helpful. They, they don't mean anything much. It's just like, oh, I have three of this. It's not like you should just bid it any time you have three hearts, I don't think. Because if partner cared about me having a three card major, he, he could have asked um, after bidding, after my three diamonds. So, I don't know, maybe I am supposed to pass. Can we come up with nine tricks and there's in like a suit that West apparently has quite a few of? Maybe. But like, three no trump should be pretty easy, right? Why, why, why fool around? Yeah, partner was not inviting me to pass that. Okay. Uh, good news, clubs are guaranteed to come in for five tricks. We have a sixth in diamonds, two more in hearts. That's only eight. We need two, one more. Um, and it's not looking very easy, to be honest. Um, Spades will eventually provide one more trick, right? The jack will lose the queen, the ten will lose the ace, and then the king's a winner, right? But I, I don't have that kind of time. If the opponents are allowed to lead twice, they'll take four diamond tricks. Um, unless West is made to lead, in which case, like, whatever. But, uh... So the main approach here, I think, is just to, like, try and guess whether West has the Ace of Spades or the Queen of Spades, you kind of need him to have one. You have to guess which one it is. Win the clubs. I guess you might run all the clubs first. That seems pretty safe, and the opponents might come under discard pressure, and then you can still play on the on the spades. It's not like you have entry problems. Okay, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Okay, West had a singleton heart. Singleton Club. It's kind of interesting. You don't often lead singletons against no trump. Combined with the fact that we know he has like king, queen, sixth of diamonds, a singleton club is sort of interesting. Like, why did he lead it? He was scared of leading anything else, I think. So we can kind of place him with an honor in each of hearts and spades at least. He's pitched a heart and a spade. East's pitched a heart and a diamond. West's also pitching diamonds. That's probably good news. So East's pitched two diamonds. West has pitched a diamond, two hearts, and a spade. Oh, East also pitched a heart for what that's worth. So the opponents started with seven hearts and have pitched three, right? Which means they only have four. 
probably West has like mm, I don't know. I was going to say that West's most likely shape originally was um, three three six one, but he's pitched two hearts and no spades, and we kind of believed that he had some honor in hearts. I don't think he would have like stiffed the queen or the jack so easily. So maybe he started with four hearts, six diamonds, one club, and two spades. Okay, I still don't know which two. And also, I could be wrong about that. But actually, now that I think about it, if he did start with four hearts, the hearts would be cashing right now. I could play the ace and the king. Each of them only has two left, and then my, my ten or my two would be a winner. So I don't think that that's very likely. I don't think East would have pitched down to, like, Jack X and West to Queen X. It just doesn't seem likely. So I think that West, in fact, started with three, maybe including no honors, and just figured, like, a club was more likely to hit partner with something. So I think we should... No. Well, I don't really need a hand re-entry, right? Oh. The other problem with having cashed all of the clubs, I'm now realizing, is suppose East has the ace and queen, but only one diamond. Uh, that ace and queen of spades, of course. Then if I lose two spades to him, he can't play diamonds, so like I'm safe, and my spades are set up, but I but I can't actually get to them. On the other hand, like. It was only cashing the last club that made that even possible for him to have only one diamond, so I don't think that's really a concern. I don't think that was quite a mistake. I think I still have to guess what West has. Because he still has four diamonds. I could try to lose, like, cash the ace, lose three diamonds, and make him lead something, but... That's not any better than me leading spades, really. So let's just lead the jack, see if he plays the queen. No, he plays the ace. Okay. Guess resolved. Right now I have three losers, is that right? Yeah, losing two diamonds and a heart. So I can duck this to get down to two losers and then see if something good happens. Yeah, like another diamond. He only had five diamonds. Uh, oh, hang on. I have one loser still, which I guess means I'm playing a heart spade squeeze. And my recollection is that the opponents have four hearts between them, so that suit will be easy to count. There's the jack. That must be west's last, I assume. And east has queen x. Yeah. And if he's the only one with the spade guard, he'll be squeezed on this diamond. He's kept the heart, so he can't have a spade. On the other hand, West is out of diamonds and therefore has two spades anyway. So the squeeze hasn't worked, but, you know, we're supposed to try it. Oh, I counted diamonds wrong somewhere. Cool. The squeeze did work. Right? Um, observe. Well, actually, let's open this in the... Hand viewer where you can control things a little better. Oh my god, they embed it, really? Yuck. Um, so the idea is look at East's decision to make here, right? If he he has to throw something away. If he throws away the diamond, I ca the heart, I catch the two of hearts. If he throws away the spade, as he did. Then I play the king and queen of spades. King and eight of spades is a winner. So that's called a squeeze. And um, there are various, that's the kind of simplest kind of squeeze. But the idea is just like you make the opponent choose between two discards, each of which is bad for them. Um, and you can, you can recognize situations in which they might occur and like plan them out. In, you have to time them pretty carefully, what, what you do in what order. Um, I'm not really going to explain why that was the right order to play things in. It's sort of complicated. You would want to read a whole book on it, and there have been books written on it. Um, you don't need a book for the simplest kind, but you do need at least a few chapters. 
Um, sorry, we're on we're on the next hand. Uh, so two hearts here. It doesn't show hearts. It's just a generic game force asking me more details about my hand. You know, what do I have? I have a heart stopper. So I'll bid two no trump. Fine. Here we are. Uh, we should be able to set up three hearts, but right now we have zero. So like tricks we can cash right away include three spades and two diamonds. That's only five. We need four more somehow. Probably we can get three from hearts. Looks like we're getting two from clubs. We have plenty. The main issue is going to be like, do we have enough club stoppers? Yes. Do we have enough entries? Well, it might be hard getting the hand to catch all the spades actually. So maybe we set up Diamonds? It depends on what opponents do after winning this club, I guess. Yeah, a spade. This also makes my clubs harder to get to. Huh. How badly would spades have to split for me to be concerned about cashing all of them right now? Because one way, like, one way to enjoy all three of my spade tricks is just take them all immediately, right? You don't normally love cashing tricks because it just sets stuff up for your opponents, but here, there are tricks I'm not going to be able to get to otherwise. Not easily, anyway. Maybe the king of hearts will be an entry, but if the ace is here, then they can prevent that. Um, so say we have two diamonds, one club, that's three. Three hearts is six and three spades is nine. So cashing all three spades is fine as long as it doesn't let the opponents take five tricks first. They have one club, they have though they will get one heart. So it's only a concern if they can get three spades after I cash my three spades, which would mean that the suit would be six two. Hmm. I can't actually find that out before cashing the third one, huh? So the other possibility then would be to cash only two spades and get to work on hearts. The opponents will have to lead something. Um, if they lead a club, I have a pretty good chance of setting up a... Yeah, I feel like I should be perfectly happy to cash two spades because the opponents have to lead something and they don't really want to. Like, I have transportation problems I can't get between my two hands, but I can use the opponents as a relay because they have to lead something. Okay, let's try that. It should be fun. Right right now, the spades are kind of toxic to the opponents. If they ever lead a spade, they're going to get get me back in for the king of spades that I'm abandoning. So that's toxic. Clubs and hearts are okay. All right, there's the spade I needed. If I were really greedy, oh, actually it would have just been correct, not greedy at all. I should have cashed the king of clubs before I gave up a heart as well. I don't need the dummy entry, but unblocking the clubs sure would have been nice, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I think I dropped a trick here. Unless the diamonds queen happens to fall, in which case it doesn't matter, but it was still a mistake. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so not punished, but definitely a mistake. Right? Um, here, I should have cashed the king of clubs. Um, then when east... W wait. Here, I should have cashed the, the king of clubs. Then when East wins the Ace of Hearts, if he plays a spade, he's giving me two tricks, the King of Club, the King of Spades and the Queen of Clubs, to pitch two diamonds, which look like they might very well be losers. It happens they're not, but I should have been more careful. All right, this seems to be the opponent's hand, even though I have the best hand at the table. Partner must be fairly weak. No real reason to get involved here. They'll, they'll probably make two spades. What can you do? Partner's 10 of diamonds suggests weakness in, or, or shortness in the suit, which is not a surprise. Um, right, when typically you lead your highest card in the suit only if you have two or fewer, otherwise you lead something lower. 
Um, so the uh, the other reason to lead a ten would be if you have the nine, then leading the ten shows like basically either the nine or else a short suit. We can see the nine in dummy, so we know partner has shortness. We can also see a lot of diamonds in dummy, and so we also know partner is short. But like, you could imagine partner might have king ten nine, but that's ruled out by the nine being here. Anyway, uh, it doesn't super matter what partner's diamond holding is, probably. Just pointing it out because knowing things is useful. The more the more inferences you make about the hand, the more you might realize the obvious play is wrong somehow. Save that seven of diamonds for the beer. Very important. Um, also note, declare and partner both out of diamonds. Not clear why declare played the suit in this way. I guess he's playing to draw all the trumps now. No. Well, this is very odd. I don't know why Declare is giving us this. Obviously, the club finesse is totally normal. It's just like, why did he take two rounds of diamonds first? Now, when I lead a diamond, partner will be able to rough after Declare. Um, so he can make his medium-sized trumps useful. You might imagine that maybe Declare doesn't care about that because all of the high spades are in his hand, but we know that's not true because I have the queen, right? So for all he knows, partner has it. So this is a concern for him. One thing he could do is maybe like pitch heart losers while we cash diamond winners and thereby avoid trump promotion. But I don't think that that's a realistic play. I, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, well, that's really given away everything. Yeah, Declare has the King Jack 10 8 of spades. In, well, Ace King Jack 10 8, at least. And we've seen the Ace, so he still has a King Jack 10 in hand. If partner had anything higher, he would have overruffed for sure. Declare now, also, if he were not Gib, would know that I hold the Queen. Gib doesn't actually know that because he just doesn't think that way. All right, more promotions. No. He's pitching a heart this time. He wants to get club rust and dummy, and I can't stop him because I can only lead one round of trump. He'll win and rough a club. I can stop him from getting two club roughs and dummy because I have. I'll rough the second one if he tries. The question is, what's going on in hearts? Declare has two diamonds, at least five, maybe six spades. How about values? He's turned up with the king of diamonds, ace, king, jack of spades is 11. Nothing in clubs. I'm inclined to believe he doesn't have the King of Hearts because he would have been a bit more enthusiastic than two spades, I think, if he had that. So leading hearts is sort of dangerous. It might give him, like, suppose he had started with four hearts and now has three, like Jack third. Well, no, but partner's pitched one too, so we can't really give him any extra heart tricks, I don't think. I don't know. Let's let's make it difficult for him to figure like to play the suit at least. By not, not breaking the hearts for him. We're gonna play low on this heart. Yep, there's the jack. I guess I could have pitched the heart here. Doesn't... Oh no, partner had the jack. That's very strange. Why no over rough, partner? Huh. I mean, it doesn't really cost, I guess, because we ended up getting a trick with it anyway since I have the queen, but he doesn't know I have the queen.
I would think you would jump at the chance to win your Jack of Spades. Very odd. Uh, I have the best hand at the table, but everyone else is bidding. You know, that, that's how these things go sometimes. <clears throat> I have 13, which is certainly enough to be interested in the possibility of game after partner over calls, but not enough to be certain that we have one. Um, I want to raise. I want to, like, ask partner, hey, is your overcall good or bad? If so, we can, like, if it's good, we can go to game. Three spades, gosh, Gib thinks it shows 12 to 15. I would bid it with less than that for sure. Just as, like, a competitive measure. Okay, but it seems to fit pretty well with the hand I actually have. Okay, partner has a pretty bad overcall. Yeah. Uh... Seems like we have kind of a lot of losers, don't we? Maybe we can protect the heart suit. Because, like, you can put in the queen and win an extra trick if he has the king. But he doesn't have the king. Like, there's... It's just not going to happen. It could, I guess. But the thing is, if he does, you can also... You can play the ace and then later, like, lead up to the queen. You don't have to take the finesse now. Unless you had some way to pitch the third round, in which case, queen, ace would be... be winning the queen, then winning the ace would be better than... Winning the ace, then losing a trick, then winning the queen. If there is no third round, then winning the queen on the third round is not very impressive. I mean, we're probably losing two spades here. West, I mean, like, the, the way the auction's gone, West has almost all the points. East has a little something, but not much. So it looks like we're losing two hearts, two spades, a club, and a diamond. That's six tricks. We can only afford to lose four. We need to do something interesting here. Um, well, one possibility would be that West has only two clubs, in which case, two spades, in which case we can lose a spade, win the ace, dropping king, and then win the queen. And uh, we can hope to develop the diamonds for heart discards. That would let me lose only one heart instead of two. Uh, but, oh wow, what a weird, I don't think that the computers would do that, but here's a funny thought. How are we going to lose a spade without letting East on lead, right? You can't just like lead up to the queen, that prevents East from winning it, but then West gets to win his king and later East will have a trick with the jack or the 10 or whatever. Um... So you can play the ace, and then small. West will be forced to win with the king. Remember, we're assuming he has king x. It's kind of necessary to our plans. And then your queen will win, and east hasn't won a trick. But actually, if west is very clever and recognizes what's going on, he'll throw away his king on, uh, on the first round of spades. We'll get to win our queen, which we were going to get to win anyway. But then the person who wins the last round of spades will be east. And he'll play another heart through the queen and we'll, before we can like establish the diamonds, right? I think. Maybe not. Maybe it would be okay to win the ace, win the queen, play a club. No, because at some point while we're trying to run diamonds, east will rough in and play a heart. And that'll be that. Okay. At any rate, I think that's my basic overall plan, is uh, hope that West's spades are king x, the ace of clubs is on side, and nothing else bad happens. Okay, there's the 10. That's kind of good news, right? That's bad news. All right, he had three. Not much we could do there. We were always losing two spades. Oh, no, really? Oh, disaster. Okay, down three.
The finesse won, but I think West has king third and was just ducking anyway. Yeah. It doesn't hurt him to duck one round, and in some circumstances it might be better. Yeah, down three because the ace of clubs was offside, which I, at trick one, I thought there was some possibility East might have it because why didn't he lead a club? But, like, he just doesn't have very many aces, so I thought it was not super likely. I think the double dummy we can probably do better than down three after the heart lead, maybe. Well, maybe not. No, not with uh, the ace of clubs offside as well. Never mind. Uh, this is an okay hand, perfectly worth bidding a heart with. Partners wonder how no Trump shows a pretty good hand for his pass, but he doesn't like hearts that much. This one might be the opponent's hand again. Just because spades outrank hearts, and I don't want to be at the three level. And my king of clubs is looking pretty useful. I'll, I'll chance it. Uh-oh. I should have looked at what the bid meant. It was forcing to game. Really? What a stupid system. This should be competitive. Why on earth would you make this forcing to game? Okay, well, maybe we'll make it. Nope. We're losing two spades, a diamond, and a club, and that's it. Unless hearts don't break or something bad happens. But, like, the point is, three hearts was the best possible contract, and we're playing a system that makes it impossible for us to ever play three hearts. So, like, something's got to be wrong there, right? All right, we have a chance now to make it, although not a very good one. Um, clubs may break 3-3, three, three, or the player with two clubs may have only two hearts. In either case, I can throw a spade loser on the queen of clubs if I play two rounds of trump first. Didn't work. And we're down one. Yeah, there's no reason to discard on this. You guys can have the Ace of Diamonds. Our stupid contract. That's what I get for not looking at what Gib thinks bids mean, I guess. But it's just like so obvious three hearts should be to play. Why on earth would it be forcing? This is enough to bid two spades, but not enough to bid more. Pardon is inviting. We have a pretty good two spades. I'll raise. Uh... Well, we're losing at least one club and at least one diamond. Let, let's say exactly one club. At least one diamond. Um, those are the only like guaranteed losers. So if we were very lucky, we could make five, I think. Yeah. Solve the spades. Find the ace of diamonds on side. Play the hearts with queen, ace, rough, and then they're good. That would be the luckiest we could get. Um, realistically, not everything will go that well. What things should I aim for to go well? It kind of feels like I should duck this, but I don't know why. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> um, just because like being able to rough clubs in dummy is pretty useful. I'm thinking what I should actually do is win this and return a club. Um, now, it's sort of dangerous for them to lead clubs, I think. Hmm. I have to guess the diamonds now. Um, if, I, if West has the queen, I should play low, forcing East ace, because he doesn't want to let my jack win. And then the king will be good. If West has the ace, I should play the king. The thing is, he probably doesn't have either. Not just because I'm a pessimist. Um, there's sort of a... Suppose the opponent's... Let's, let me back up and try again. 
there's a kind of principle or maxim of play, which is don't assume the defenders are being friendly, right? In diamonds, um, if they never lead the suit, the only option I have is low to the king, hoping that West holds the ace. I don't have the option of hoping that West holds the queen. So if West does hold the queen and not the ace, he's sort of giving me a gift by leading diamonds, right? And in general, you should assume that opponents are not giving you gifts. I should, I should assume, probably, that he doesn't hold the queen here. Um, maybe sometimes he would do this when holding the queen because he's not sure what the position is. But, I mean, you can see the jack staring at you in the dummy. This play is clearly dangerous, even if it's not guaranteed to be wrong. Um, and, like, low from the ace? I don't know. How hard, how likely is that to be wrong? Not that likely. I think a good human bridge player with, like, ace fourth of diamonds would lead a low one here seeing if he can get his partner to win the queen. Because for all he knows, by the way, uh, I might have the 10 in hand, uh, in which case this isn't actually giving me something I couldn't take myself. And it really is a guess. Then maybe his partner wins the queen, ace comes back, like, hooray, right? I don't know. I'm going to play the king. It didn't work. Yeah, they were both wrong. Not a huge surprise. This is kind of a surprise, though, isn't it? This is making it a little bit easier for me, I think, to get rid of the three losers I have in the north hand. I could Sort of rough them all, maybe? No, I don't have enough entries for that. Well, I do, right? But only if I pitch a heart here. And if I do that, the opponent's threatened to over-rough the, the last club that I rough. If I rough now and pitch a club, then I can't rough a heart. I, I have to take the heart finesse. Hmm. I think I should win this and play a heart. I'm just not sure what I should do next. Yeah, let's do that. And also note that East thought this was profitable. He thought this might be a good idea, um, which suggests he's surprised that I only have two diamonds. Maybe that means, like maybe he has six and hoped his partner was the one who was out, in which case this would be useful. Or maybe he has like three and thought there was no way I would be out. So I don't know. That suggests one of them has six and the other has three, but I don't think that's a very strong conclusion. I think it's just like a wild... It's one plausible explanation. So one nice effect of this would be if the king fell right now. It did not. Um, so we'll play another heart. There's the king. Probably that's the last heart, right? This would be a weird thing to do if you still had a smaller heart. Is the nine still out there? I sort of lost track. I don't think it is actually, in which case... Oh, but the jack is. Yeah, you wouldn't do this if you had the jack. It was the nine, all right. Right, West played the jack on the last round. So now, dummy's hearts are set up and I can enjoy them as spades are two too, right? Let's hope. Oh my goodness. So we got pretty lucky on that one, I think. Almost nothing went wrong. Um, there was another line that would have worked, I think. When um, East led the last diamond, 
or the third round of diamonds, which was the last one that was ever led, but it wasn't the last diamond. I could have roughed pitching a heart. Then roughed only one club, and then a heart club squeeze would have worked. But I don't know that that's really any better than any of the other plays. Let's actually, I'll, I'll show you. Um, so let's suppose I rough heart. My entries are kind of screwed up, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not actually sure I can do this. Because I have to rough one club. And if I do, I, yeah, I can't get back to hand. I see. Okay, never mind. Uh, this is 18 points. Very strong, but still just a one diamond opening. One level openings are quite wide ranging. Partners one heart is fantastic news. Um, and East one spade is not such bad news either. It means that my spade shortness is more likely to be useful. I assume I can bid three spades here? Yeah. Showing partner great heart support, a, a quite strong hand, and shortness in spades. He's not interested in a slam. Fair enough. So it looks like we're losing a club and perhaps a diamond. We just have to rough one spade and it's all good. Which we can certainly do. Even if we got the diamonds for five tricks, we could only pitch three clubs from hand, so we're still losing one. Likewise, there's nothing we can do about the one diamond loser except try the finesse. So I'll try that now so that I can claim as early as possible. There's no need to do any of the other stuff in any particular order. All right, so it looks like we're going to uh, make five here. So I'll just claim that. You guys can have the ace of clubs. This is 17 points, well worth bidding. Um, even though East has opened one diamond, we're going to bid one no trump, showing about the same thing as if we had opened one no trump, but additionally showing like a diamond stopper. All right, partner was almost strong enough to bid. Some people would bid with this hand, but I think it's fine to pass, especially with a four triple three shape. Um, Transportation is going to be tricky. We have 25 points together. East has around 12, so West doesn't have much. Um, so the idea is going to be to try to try to get East to lead things, basically. Like already he's in trouble. What are you supposed to lead? Every suit sucks. Gotcha. No. What? Not only could I have gotten another trick by playing the jacket trick one, but East like had a safe exit. Ugh, the worst. All right, at least he's playing back a diamond instead of something that would actually help. I don't know, a diamond sets up a trick for East, but East's gonna be end played again later, right? So I think we just have to um, lose a club to him. Now he caches a diamond. But it's sort of fine. Three, four, five, six. I'm at six tricks. All right, I just stop being so cavalier. We had like two strong hands. Seven tricks seemed easy, but actually things have not really gone my way. I'm trying to remember what happened to all the spades. This is the third round and West is discarding. And he hasn't had any other chances to discard, right? So East must have started with four spades. Which means I can't safely lose a club to him. I can't lose anything to him. 
right? Because he still has a spade. Oh, no, 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 no. Wes did have a chance to discard on... No? The last round of diamonds hasn't happened yet, has it? Yes, it has. That's right. That's what I discarded on. Right, East did have a fourth diamond. Everyone but East has discarded once. I know I discarded a spade from each hand. I'm trying to remember what West played. I think it was another spade, right? It was the eight, the eight of spades. Or the seven? The eight. It was the eight. I don't remember exactly, because I pitched the nine from dummy. I had eight, six or something. I think it was the seven. Yeah. Okay, so West did have three spades. I had four, dummy had three, so East also had three. All right, that's better. Um, oh, this is a tough ending, actually. Because Dummy doesn't have anything it can discard. Are they squeezing me? Kind of. What's what's East's remaining holding, right? He started with four X four X. So Either four three four two or four two four three. West's pitching a club here. What does that mean? I mean, like, East has six cards left. They're all hearts and clubs. Sorry, he has five cards left. And they're the hearts and clubs he started with, minus one club. I'm almost certain, no matter what East's holding is, that there is some line that gets the rest of the tricks. But I don't know if there's a line that, no matter what East's holding is, gets the rest of the tricks, if you know what I mean, right? If I can guess his shape, I can devise a line that works against it. But I don't think there's one that generically works against every shape. We want to win, like, I don't know. If I pitch a heart, then I can't use clubs. Like, the thing you would like to do is pitch a heart and then lose a club to east um, by playing towards the ace, queen, nine, and playing low. He wins, let's say, with the jack or the ten, whichever one of those is left, I forget. I think it's the jack, though. Um, he wins with the jack, and if he plays a club away from his king, he's toast. I win the queen, then I win the ace, then I win the ace and king of hearts. So he doesn't do that. He plays a heart away from his queen. I win the jack... I win the ace of clubs, and then I win the ace and king of hearts, right? But that doesn't actually work, because he can play the queen of hearts, forcing me to win the first heart here. Then if I cross the dummy with the jack, I'm stuck, and I have to play the ace of clubs and lose a club. Although I guess... At that point, the Queen of Clubs might be a winner. East might have only King third. So a different thing I could do, if, he, if I believe he has only three clubs, I could pitch a club and then play Ace and lose the Queen of Clubs. Then he has to lead a heart, and I can score three heart tricks. So which, which suit do I think he's more likely to have three of, hearts or clubs? I mean, I guess it has to be... He has three of one and two of the other, right? So the suit he's more likely to be long in is clubs. Well, wait a minute. He probably doesn't have four clubs, right? 
Because then he would have only one heart, which is like possible, but sort of unlikely. No, he had three spades. Get out of here. He had three spades and four diamonds. So he could be three, three. What? What am I have? What's happening to my brain? Yeah, I mean, he could be two or four, two, four, three. No, God, he only had three spades. I keep doing this. Three spades and four diamonds, therefore six cards in the other suits. If he had four clubs and two hearts, then I should pitch a heart, play ace, king of hearts, exit club. If he had four hearts and two clubs, well, I don't think that's very likely. If he's 3-3, three, three, then I should cash two hearts, exit heart. Hmm. So I guess in both universes, pitching a heart is pretty okay, isn't it? The problem is I'm still not going to know what to do after that. Maybe the heart spots will enlighten me somehow? There's the queen, okay, but he could do that with the 10, so... The problem is I don't know whether East's last three cards are 10 of hearts, king x of clubs, or three clubs. I started with seven hearts and six clubs. So the odds are slightly in favor of East having more clubs than hearts. Rather than being evenly sp split between them, I think. Well, no, hang on. That same argument applies to West as well. What do I know about West's shape? He had three diamonds and three spades. So he's 4-3 in the two suits. The suit he's more likely to have four of is... Clubs? Also, you know what? West might be the one with the Ten of Hearts, even if Hearts are 3-3. Three, three, East might be unblocking it to avoid being end played with his Queen of Hearts. Yeah, okay, I think I should go for the club here. It might not work. Okay, I still don't know if it's worked. Oh my god, really? Oh, I see. He has, he has King Fourth, and he's just like, he knows he's going to get the King later, right? Watch. Yeah. He could win it, but that would be the end. So he just ducked and won it later. You know, whatever. It's it's a slightly unnatural play, but one that a human might make as a kind of joke. Um, Gib just chooses randomly. So the whole the whole match was, was kind of decided by whether we got that right. Um, Gib, of course, did even better on that. And really, the match was decided here. What I mean is the match was kind of in the balance there. If I if I had gotten that that play wrong, we would we would have lost. They played five clubs, and made was it six? Yeah. Um. Doesn't seem any better than three no trump honestly. Well, maybe. Eh. Three no trump by south is about as good, I think. Uh, no. Five clubs is safer, isn't it? You can set up, try to set up spades to pitch a heart, but not if they lead hearts, which they should do. A diamond lead is going nowhere. 
I mean, I don't know. Maybe they won't figure that out, but double dummy, a heart lead is best. And then if East has the ace queen of spades, you're dead, which is kind of the same position I was in. You have to guess which which spade card he has. Yeah, I think it's it's about as safe as three nope. Here I let through an over trick that the robot didn't. How did that happen? Popped with the queen. What's that all about? Oh, really eager to give partner a diamond, maybe? That seems pretty silly. Um Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. Played a spade back instead of the diamond. Double dummy, it doesn't matter. I see. Gib, the declarer at this table, was trying to set up the clubs, and he wasn't sure who had the jack. He played for North to have the jack, taking kind of a finesse against it, a roughing finesse, we would call it. Um, that didn't work, but roughing would have worked. Okay. So I'm not, I don't really know why we ended up taking one fewer trick. Seems like Gib just took a different line for no totally obvious reason. It was related to something I did, but I don't think that like that, my action was really what decided things. Here, Gib took one more trick. Oh, that's a good point. My, I played the ace here to avoid taking the heart finesse early. Um, but as long as you can prevent East from continuing to hold the lead, you can just as well play small, right? And that way, West has the lead a little bit earlier at a time when he like doesn't want it. But he played back a club, which is fine. It turns out he does he doesn't mind leading because he doesn't have the ace of clubs, but I thought he did. A diamond comes back, which I guess is okay. Leads the queen, I guess trying to protect against West having... Like, there are some four card holdings this might help against, maybe. Oh! The problem was that when, when we played the 6, West won with the king instead of the 10. That's a pretty odd play, isn't it? Like, you don't know the 10 is going to win the trick. Maybe Declare has the jack. Mm, I see. It's kind of dangerous. Because normally, you'd like to play the 10 here. It's a kind of natural thing to do. If partner has the jack, then your king will get... the 10 will win, and the king will still win later. If declarer has the, the, the jack, it doesn't really cost you anything, because you're only ever getting one heart, and you're still getting that one heart. Um, but with the diamonds looking so good, we might have trouble actually getting the king of hearts later if we don't win it now. Could be what West is thinking. Right, declarer might be able to discard heart losers on diamond winners. Um, so that's another upside of playing a low heart, to rejecting the finesse by playing low instead of high. It's a thing I often forget you can do. So that's definitely an improvement that Gib made that uh, happened to lead to a defensive error. It's not actually any better, technically, um, but it, it did give the defense a chance to make a, a mistake that I wasn't thinking of. Here... Gib just sold out to two spades when three hearts is obviously right, but you can't play three hearts in their dumb system, so I made a mistake, I guess. Here, I made four spades, and it went down at the other table, so what happened there? Won it and played back a spade. We were always down, by the way. 
um, you take the natural line of like the heart finesse that fails and then you're losing two diamonds a club and a heart um, I don't know that my line was really any better but it seemed like putting off decisions um, right we're still losing a club regardless and this way maybe I'll be able to develop a club trick whereas like developing hearts looks kind of hard yeah I don't know I got lucky here kind of right like in a way my line was playing for hearts 3-3 three, three, and spades 2-2 two, two. Uh, I'm not sure this might this might also have been a mistake by me that happened to pay off Gib took even more tricks than I did here he also put in the nine seems like the right play even though it doesn't work Queen of Spades diamond yeah we're all on the same page so far now a club no he just goes after the hearts and the queen drops well that certainly simplifies things doesn't it so now you can get to the queen and lead a spade and you just have a ton of tricks lying around huh should i have tried that Dropping the queen doesn't sound that likely, does it? But I guess if the queen doesn't drop, then you can exit in hearts. And East has to lead something, and he doesn't want to lead spades or diamonds. Yeah. That probably was an improvement on what I did. Hmm. Okay, well, a match where most of the boards were like, yep, I made a mistake here. I happened to win, but I don't think it was because I played better. I think I just, like, made a sort of offbeat decision here that maybe was worse, maybe was better, but anyway, it was fairly close, and my decision happened to work. But Gib, Gib pipped me on a bunch of small decisions. They just weren't quite enough to make up for the one bit of variance that I accidentally injected here. So definitely not a, a max that I'm excited to have won. But, you know, winning is always better than losing, right? Uh, anyway, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.